Peace, love, and light. Heal it through inspiration. Heal it through inspiration. Feathers up. We see how we coming. Just left the grocery store. I had multiple, went to multiple grocery stores. Y'all saw it before, the video before. Um, yeah, man. I'm sorry, y'all can't see me. I got this hooked up, so I can try to get this. Y'all still got this watermelon. But it's been four on my fourth day right now. I'm about to break this fast. I already broke the dry fast because I went the dry fast. I had no dry fast. I had no water. Dry fast. I had no water. No um. No uh. What do they call it? No water. No uh. No food. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't think of the word food, but you know, in the contradiction to that. My thinking has been like, you know, it's been more present as far as more of the realization of just accepting things. I've uh, been fighting cravings, you know, fighting cravings and fighting things in general. Uh, and I haven't said it's like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. You dig feathers up. Uh, you guys were able to see it, hopefully. Because I got it, you know, I got the camera hooked up. But I'm going to say this, yo. Uh, this right here is... Uh, Make sure y'all can see the watermelon. Can y'all see it? Oh, y'all see it. Okay. I got, I got, like I said, I got this hooked up, y'all. Uh, but just like that, man, I was gonna say, I was gonna say that, um, this thing right here was like, you know, it's kind of, it's a growth in experience, you know, as far as even with today, because as a lazy the one person didn't show up, but I had to come up and I had to do it for myself. I think that's a life lesson in itself. Maybe that's for another video. But yeah, I got a lot of watermelons. I got a lot of watermelons. I grabbed seven of them. Because <laughs> uh, when I was thinking about food on my dry fast, I was thinking about watermelon. Um, I did watermelon because it's like, shoot, it's like my favorite fruit. One of my favorite fruits, uh, honestly. Um, you know, but they'll tell you that a fruit is anything with a seed, actually. Anything that has a seed is a fruit. It's a fruit. Um. I'm, if you see me changing angles, I'm trying to make sure I'm in the shot of the glimpse I can see of, of the camera. Um, Cause you know they try to say that like vegetables, you know, like cucumbers, the vest. Well, cucumbers a fruit, man. Anything with a seed has a fruit. You know, that's why women bear fruit. Women had bear the fruit. They had the fruit. You know, the woman has a seed. They may contradict a lot of thoughts, but I'm about to cut this. I know I'm out of shot, but hey, here we go. I, I'm gonna just make sure I'm in shot when I taste it. You dig? It's a little one, but I did have some bigger ones, but you know me, I'm picking choosing to get the yellow bellies. You know, the yellow belly, this right here, that's how you get the sweetness. The yellow it is, the more, you know, uh, it's even like the yellow brown, whatever, it is, that's what makes it more sweeter. And you check if it's ready, because this this side right here is brown, but it's not really, not really that brown, because sometimes they slip it, they cut it, but you can see it's brown on this end. And really with the watermelon, too, when you get a watermelon, you want to feel what's supposed to be dense, supposed to be heavy. Like, when you get it right, what's supposed to feel, like, heavy, heavy all the way through, you dig? I think that's kind of why some people, you ain't see people hitting it to hear the noise, but that's kind of confusing. But I know this, this method right here, the yellow belly watermelon, and you have, make sure it's a right vamp, uh, and a, a, a brown, a brown, a brown tip, brown stem. You know what? It, it, it always never fails. And you don't even got to look at the stem or focus on it. You just focus on this. You see his yellow belly right here. You know it's about to be right. I know I'm talking a lot of mess. I'm talking a lot of mess, and I know I ain't even trying yet. That's how you know I'm doing it. <laughs> I was even talking to one of the workers in the store, and he was like, because they had like, you know, seeded watermelon, the seedless. Next to you know, we're going to seed. We're going with seeds. Shout out to Dr. Savi Alkaline Electric Food, you know what I'm saying? Because I can smell a glimpse of it right now, yep. Um, you know, when you go with seed, because the food grows with seed. If it doesn't grow with seed, why would you want to eat it? You're already altering the food on that. Oh, that smells great. Yeah, it's got a great whiff. You're already altering the food uh, unnaturally, you dig. So um, that, 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 that just goes to show you that you're messing with nature, you dig. And um, really, it's another thing, too, when you begin, again, the artificial uh, fruits and vegetables, you begin to uh, 
you know, you begin to destroy, you know, destroy your insides, you know, why not? Because it's not real. It's not real. You're eating hybrid food, eating altered food or whatnot. So people don't know that. And y'all like, man, hurry up and eat a watermelon. But you know what? This thing right here taught me I got discipline. Really taught me I can fight cravings and fight, and fight distractions and whatnot. It really pushed through, really pushed through enormous energy I have. So here you go. A little slice right here. I'm about to try this. About to break this food fast. You dig? Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, so. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's so rich with flavor. Oh my gosh. That was the richest watermelon I ever had tasted in my life. I ain't never had a watermelon so rich in flavor, yo. 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 It's so juicy, too. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, yo. Yo, big ups to the Dr. Savy, dog. You know we love you, Dr. Savy. American brother, American pride. I say America. Because he's from Honduras. His mother's mother's from Honduras. You're going to ask yourself what continent is uh, Honduras in. You dig? Mm-hmm. Hold up, that was so rich. I could feel it like in my belly, dog. Hold up. That was the richest watermelon I ever tasted. Hold up, so much flavor, bro. I know I grabbed the white one, but. Wow. This is so ripe and rich. Feels like real crisp, like a crisp, a crisp water flavor, you know? Wow. Whew. Set that to the side for a second so I can cut this. Definitely about to indulge into this, man. Oh, look at that color. Yo, boy, that ain't no photo, baby. That's the real deal. And all of a sudden, too, it made me think of this when I see that. What just happened is that a lot of times with... You know, a lot of times the artificial flavors and whatnot, they try to, um, how you say, put a artificial, they try to get like real fruits and like vegetable pictures and stuff, or even if it's just the image of it alone, even if it's animated or Photoshop, that's, a, that's to get you in order to associate it with natural. And you know, that has to do with the subconscious mind or whatnot, you know? So look. Wow. Right now I'm just cutting it in. So I can dice it up. You know, just split it right in between. So I can get my uh, cubes right. Mm -hmm. That's so refreshing. Mm. So juicy. I'm glad I waited when I was at the subway in Walmart in order to break my fast. Having a feeling the transition from eating watermelon. I feel like my tongue is kind of like surprised at first, especially by the flavor, because it was just so much flavor, dog. Mm. This is going to be great for my insides as I transition into food. But I might end up dry. By, might end up eating dry mango after this. <laughs> mm. I 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put this in the plastic. Uh, mm-hmm. Much appreciated to the ancestors. I say that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You want a bite? Fan bite, man. Come on. There you go. I'm I'm selfish. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think I put salt on it, but it's just so rich. I don't know if it needs it, but I do like the taste of it. So, if y'all see stuff right here, those are clean dishes. Haven't put them up. That's one thing the fast made me do. First day of the fast made me like detox my mind where I had to clean. You know, get rid of stuff I was tired of seeing. It's great. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. I was on the book of one consultation. Ask somebody help you get through the fast. Guide you through the fast. Someone has actually done it. Knows how to do it. Get with healing. Send us an email at info at healing through inspiration.com with the subject coaching, or you can just DM us on Instagram. Mm. I'm over here eating while I got a bowl on the side. But I was gonna say, uh, check out our check out our one of a kind artwork at healingdoinspiration.com slash shop. You guys see in the video we even crafted his hand pieces, stuff like that, you know. It's your original caps, American meaning shirts, limited supplies last. You know what I'm saying? Um, you guys want to start a business? Uh, you don't know how. Now, if you have a business, you want to further enhance your business, you go take our business course down in the description box. It's there for you. My stomach is feeling full. Holy cow. Look at that honey. Honey, I didn't even eat, oh, I didn't even eat all the water, man. I only had like a few couple of pieces. That's something. That's because my stomach's smaller. Stomach's smaller and dry fast and whatnot. But, um, yeah. I'm so glad you guys have watched all this, whatever. Let me know what you guys think of this stuff. Especially since you're on a journey with me and whatnot. This is real cool. I like this watermelon. But, um, yeah. If you guys haven't already, put the bell notification so I can be updated on our videos or before YouTube decides to remove it. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna say this though. Like, comment, subscribe. Please let me like.